Hey, so the other day I put this cinemagraph on my Instagram and I got a lot of people asking me how I actually did it. So today we're at this train station, which is where I did the other one. I didn't do it at this train station, but to do this sort of thing, it's really easy. All you need to do is have a camera, obviously, have someone recording you whilst you're trying to vlog. <laughs> you need a tripod and then you need a subject. And today for the subjects, I'm going to use either Mike or Hayden. I don't know which one. How is that holding that? What? Like, okay, if you didn't know right now, Liam is holding a full-fledged tripod <laughs> Mate, vlogging. It just looks like... You know how sore my shoulder is right now? Like, dude, you look like Gandalf the Grey. You're like, shoes, you shoes off. Shoes. But yeah, you need a tripod, you need a subject who's going to be staying still, and then you need movement in the background. And for this cinemagraph, the movement that I'm going to be using is going to be the train. Oh, which one of you wants to model? Me. Actually, no, nah, I need a shave. You can. Uh, I'll model. <laughs> Actually, no, nah, me. I want it. Fight to the death. Three, Wait. two, one. I'll choose you, Hayden. Sorry, Mike. That's Sorry, your ego. That's what, what you get. Sorry, Sorry, I'm just so photogenic. Oh, the train oh, comes minutes. in four minutes. I'm going to have to set up exactly. a shop. It's literally like that's it it's it looks a lot harder than it is but that's it you literally you have your tripod set up you have your composition you have your subject which was hayden and then you have you need your, hayden you, you need hayden you have to buy a hayden you have to yeah. buy one hayden i'll leave in it down below you hold down the shutter have it in continuous mode take as many photos as you can like so that you can like loop it let's head home and i'll show you how to edit this it's really easy Alright, so now that you've taken all those photos, the only photos you want to use for this cinemagraph is the ones with the train in, in the background. So for instance, you want to use this one because the train is covering the whole of the background, whereas this photo here, only half of the train is in the background. And if you put that in a cinemagraph and that's going to loop, that's obviously going to be a lot different to if they're just sort of looping like this. I've already done an edit on these, I'll just use one of my presets, so that was really quick. If you want to get those presets, Yep, I'm going to plug them because, you know, it's my own product. I have no shame. I'm going to plug my presets. If you want them, you can go and get them. They're in my description. It just saves you editing time, you know? It took me literally three minutes to edit this photo. Three minutes exactly. Anyway, once you've edited all the photos, just select them all. Press Command Shift E, which is going to export. Just export them to wherever you put in subfolder. You want to click that. Otherwise, it's just going to be everywhere. For this cinemagraph, I always like to have some sort of music behind the video so that it looks like it's just on loop. A really good place to go is Epidemic Sound. If you want to get music for your YouTube videos, Instagram stories, all that sort of stuff, go to Epidemic Sound. I've actually got a link in my description where you can actually go and have a 30-day free trial. Like, you don't have to put your credit card in or any of that. You can just have a free trial and you can get all these sort of beats different types of music like there's hip hop. We've got all the photos here. I've opened up the folder and just select them all and just drag them into your timeline here. And then we'll select all of these photos, like right click or double click, whatever it is to get this thing up. Click speed and duration and make sure this button here is click, ripple edit. And you wanna make the time, we'll make it 0.2 of a second. So like that, copy that. We zoom in, that's it. How easy. So to make it loop, We'll just right click on them, make sure they're all selected, click on nest, click enter, and we'll just duplicate that. Select it, press alt or option and just drag it out. It's sort of boring though, like, you know, there's no sound to it. So we'll go over to Epidemic Sound now, we'll find a beat and then we'll drop that beat below the music and we'll loop it. The good thing about Epidemic Sound is like, they've got so much choice. Like, look here, let's, let's just randomly go through one. So what's this? Like, this is by Oil. I actually met him when we were in Sweden last week. I met some of the producers from Epidemic Sound. A lot of music I use is like this mainstream hip hop, which is like this sort of stuff. Yeah, you get it. They have a lot of music. So if you want to go and get free 30 day trial, it's actually free. It's not a scam, it's free. Click the link in my description. So I've got this beat here. I'll just go to that sort of first bass drop. I'll zoom all the way in and just make sure I'm on that sort of that part. I'll just press C, I'll click there, I'll cut that, and I'll delete everything to the left of that. And now I'm just gonna play it out until it sounds like it should loop, if that makes sense. Okay, so there. So now I've gotta go back here, 
and cut the frame before. Now that I know that the music is gonna loop on that point, I'm just gonna duplicate the video part until it sort of goes beyond the edge of the song, if that makes sense. And now I'm just gonna cut it just on the end here. Now the way we can test this out, if I go all the way here, I press O to mark an out point, I go here, I click loop, moment of truth, will it loop? Ready? Yes. So that's how you make a cinemagraph. Let me know down below, was that easier or harder than you thought? Also, if you did like today's video, remember to leave a like, help me out by hitting subscribe, and also remember to turn on the bell, hit the bell. Right now, I'm watching. You don't want to miss my new video because I'm coming up with some fire content. Imagine if I was seriously saying that. I'm seriously saying fire content. Does anyone say that? But yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And as always, stay inspired, keep creating, and I will see you in the next one.